All right, the next set of reactions we're going to use with alkynes are something similar we've seen before um, when we were learning about oxymercuration and hydroboration. So oxymercuration, remember, was the addition of OH and H, or OH and whatever the H and whatever solvent was, really. Uh, so depending on the solvent here, a lot of times it was water, so via alcohol. And you get the anti, you get the Markovnikov product, right? The OH ends up in the more substituted carbon, carbon one here. You get a trans or anti stereochemistry. They add opposite sides. Hydroboration, there are no carbocations, no carbocations with hydroboration either. You add, you make the anti Markovnikov product where the OH adds to the less substituted carbon. You get a syn stereochemistry, a syn addition where the OH and the H are on the same side. So you add an OH and an H here. You add a syn stereochemistry. You need to know the first step for both of these. All right, the first step, adding the mercury, and then the solvent reacts with the three-membered ring. Here, that first step, the concerted step, where it's a syn addition, you know that as well. You didn't need to know the second step for either of these. Similarly, with alkynes, you're going to have mercury reacting and sodium borohydride. These are terminal alkynes, so there's an H here. So again, just like before, you're going to add and get a similar type product, a Markovnikov addition. So this, you'd have... an OH. In here, you would add the OH to the less substituted carbon. So carbon 2. Carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 1, and carbon 2. The difference here now is what happens is that these can all both tautomerize. All right, so if I redraw that a little bit so we can see that we talked about tautomerization -ta previously. In either of these cases, let's see what we end up after we do after we do ta ta memorization. So we got that OH. So we have this pi bond is going to go there. It's going to react with that, and break that sigma bond. Pi bond takes the H. Two electrons here forms a new pi bond. So what do we end up with? In this case, we end up with a ketone. And in this case, following ta ta we end up with a aldehyde. So it's an important difference, All right? With oxymercuration, we get a alcohol on the more substituted carbon, more carbon of addition, but then it ta ta merizes to a ketone. In hydroboration, we get the OH added to the less substituted carbon, but then it also ta ta merizes to get an aldehyde species. So let's explore the mechanism more fully now. All right, so first looking at oxymercuration and what happens with this. So we have a, um, in this case, we have an internal alkyne. And so it really could, the OH could really end up on either carbon. So the, a lot of times these will be symmetrical. You see here it's just symmetrical, and this or a terminal one, where we're, of course you get that Markovnikov addition with hydro, with oxymercuration. So the first step, we get that enol, we call that. That's that, and we do that ta-ta, ta-ta, memorization to get uh, to here. So the first step, possible mechanism, we start with mercury 2 plus and a lone pair. So the pi bond reacts with mercury, the lone pair reacts with the carbon. And then we have mercury 2 plus still. The water, the solvent involved, goes for the more substituted carbon, right? So I would argue, in this case, R here would not be R. It would actually be a hydrogen. So it goes for the more substituted carbon from this three-membered ring. So the oxygen lone pair reacts. Carbon there breaks that bond. Now it's back to mer so it's mercury 2+, plus, but now it got electrons, so now it's mercury 1+, plus, really. And what happens next, I will show... Um, in more detail all of these steps to go from here to here I will show so the first step is just simply um, it could be simply a uh, taking this way but I will show this in more detail now main points takeaway here is this two step here where you make that th three membered mercurium ion and then the solvent reacts with the more substituted carbon gets something like this and I'll show this steps in a second now so here we are with the same uh, intermediate we started with from the previous slide uh, I'm going to call this demercuration. So we had oxymercuration. Now we're going to take, we gotta get rid of this mercury. So we got to lose the mercury. And that's all the steps we're going to do to lose the mercury. So the first step is going to be a ta ta memorization. Pi bond reacts here. Electrons go there. Right to that pi bond, form new pi bond. And that gives us. So what does that give us? That gives us, right, we do the pi bond, we have a new carbon hydrogen sigma bond, and we formed a new pi bond there. 
So now at this point, we need to lose this mercury. And this mercury, right, it has electrons, but mercury is a metal. It doesn't want to hold on to electrons very much. We need to get back to 2 plus mercury. So these two electrons, it's going to make an elimination reaction. You can go that way. And the mercury lost electrons, so that's immediately going to make mercury 2 plus, which we need to get back to anyways. And that's going to regenerate this alcohol species, which we call an enol. An enol. Alcohol with an, al with an alkene, enol. Now at this point, there's lots of ways this could go. Um, we can use uh, just a regular tautomerization, or we could use acid catalyzed to do this. When we do the acid catalyzed, if we have an H plus floating around, right? So a second step, this would be like a second step after all that mercuriation stuff. What can happen is the pi bond can react, and this OH sigma bond can break. And what happens here, so this is acid catalyzed, You'll notice if I circle this H with blue, that H ends up being actually this H, an H plus. And the other H that we initially started with ends up on carbon two, and we make a ketone. Carbon one and carbon two. So this is an acid catalyzed ta-ta memorization. This is the way to get the mercury off this. Again, we regenerate our catalyst, do the first tautomerization, the mercury is willing to give up electrons, that's an elimination, get to another enol, and then we can use acid, or we could just do a tautomerization to get to the ketone. So just to con continue to review um, this tautomerization, uh, just highlight this word here, and again, essentially all this is, is taking the H that's on the, that is from this enol, in terms of being transferred to this alpha position, Right? And here they're showing an acid catalyzed version. The pi bond reacts with the H plus and break the OH bond. You do a resonance, right? So you can stabilize this with the octet rule, right? Not full octets, full octets. And you regenerate the catalyst by water, which you generated here, coming back in and taking that H and breaking that OH bond to regenerate that. You can also do this with base. With base being OH minus, that would take the hydrogen, make an O minus, and that would cause in the resonance form, we have a negative charge at the this carbon right here. That carbon would then grab an H from what the water that you generated here and regenerate the base. So base catalyzed or acid catalyzed. Either way, again, you regenerate the catalyst, whether it's acid or base, in the final step. All right, so the final step in the, is the about thinking about the hydroboration, um, which is the parallel to the oxymercuration, because the hydroboration, of course, gives us the anti-Markovnikov um, reaction. Uh, if it works with a terminal alkyne, so an alkyne with a CH, it will always add the O to the less substituted carbon, creating this enol, which then undergoes tautomerization to get to this aldehyde, which we've shown before. If it's an internal alkyne, so if it's an alkyne like this, it'll make, generate ketones similar to what oxymercuration does. But if it's a terminal alkyne, it'll end up with the OH being added to less substituted carbon, and that will be tautomerized into an aldehyde. I would add again here this, the rules about syn addition applies. So you notice the H and the boron are the same mechanism as before. The pi bond reacts. And so it's the same exact mechanism as before. If we just draw BH3, pi bond reacts, the H goes there. We end up with a boron, the syn addition, the boron and the H on the same side. We don't need to know the mechanism for the second step, but the H and the OH end on the same side, and then that tautomerizes into the aldehyde.